Well, more than 2,000 persons have been displaced after suspected bandits attacked at least 15 villages in Igabi local government area of Kaduna State. Three members of a vigilance group who went into the forest to confront the suspected bandits were allegedly killed. The displaced persons are now talking, taking refuge rather at Burning Yero Primary School located along the Kaduna Zaria Road amidst tight security. Well, security analyst Kabira Adam Adamu joins me via Skype from Abuja to discuss this development. Thank you for joining us on TVC News. 2,000 persons uh, from 17 villages displaced in Kaduna. One wonders, uh, a worrying situation, uh, we must uh, say, because uh, this is coming on the heels of when uh, the governor uh, came up with a new ministry, Ministry of Internal Security, that is to ensure that issues like this do not come up. I, I wonder how this comes to you, if, uh, because some have argued that this is an indictment on the ministry. Yes, to an extent. But we should also interrogate um, the fact what kind of capacity building um, support at the state government, as well as the federal government, given that ministry. Um, we know, for instance, that the commissioner has a background in um, inf information. I think he's a communication specialist. Uh, I do not know what kind of technocrat he has around him to support uh, the new role that he's been given. Um, having said all of that, uh, some of the statements that have come from him have been quite encouraging. Um, there is only so much that the state government can do. Uh, they need to, the state needs to be supported by the federal government. And then, um, as it were, if you recall, recently Zampara State and, and Katina State have introduced their, what they call the peace and reconciliation um, you know, um, uh, approaches to uh, solving their own security challenges. Unfortunately, Kaduna State did not follow suit. Um, there has been the report going around that there are a movement of the bandits from Katina and Zampara have been noticed towards especially Burning Gwari in, in Kaduna. And of course, of recent, we've seen an increase in the type of banditry incidents in Kaduna. So perhaps this, this report is true. And so so are you saying that the Kaduna state government should borrow a leaf from these states that are looking at uh, peace, using peace measures to resolve uh, security challenges? So I will, I will definitely recommend that. But more importantly, a, a hybrid of solutions. Um, one of them, the, the, the state government has started, which is the, the you know, ministry specifically for internal security, but then build the capacity of that ministry, engage both the federal government as well as private security practitioners. A lot of us are ready to support that move. Um, secondly, because of the forest, that run across the state, Kaduna, Katina, Zamfara, Niger. Um, Kaduna state has no option but to work hand in hand with Katina and Zamfara as well as the other neighboring states to ensure that whatever measures those other states are putting in place, it puts such measures in place as well so that this bandits don't move um, as it were to find um, haven in, in Kaduna state. And then the second and uh, third, third one, which is the most important one, build the resilience of the local population. Um, in particular, um, tell people what to do. Uh, what kind of information should people make available to the ministry that you've established? So that kind of um, resilience building measures the state government needs to embark on like, immediately. All right, Kabir Adamu, security expert, thank you for your time on the news. Thank you for having me.